all-wheel drive now for the VW ID bus, Volkswagen's electric microbus. And we have it here in the sporty trim, the ID bus GTX with sporty accentuation seen in the lower part in black. Sensor is hidden in there. And then the huge retro VW logo. But special is not only here, you have the normal data running light. And additionally, for the GTX, you get this one here, these vertical light signatures right there. Cherry red is this color here. It's also unique for the GTX version. And also new wheels. These ones here are the largest 21 inch wheels. You can also get 19 or 20 inch. But these ones here, yeah, look really massive on this microbus here. You have two different length versions, 4 meters 71 or 4 meters 96 in inch. That's 185 inches or 195 inches. So 25 centimeters or 10 inches difference. And that length difference is all the way the wheelbase difference, short wheelbase or long wheelbase. Northern American market gets the long wheelbase only. In Europe, we can pick this is here, the long wheelbase version. You can see it right here, it's just a little bit more stretched. But design-wise, I think it doesn't make a large difference. You can also get one with contrasting color, for example, in the top area. But yeah, I usually always prefer the unicolor style for vehicles, but with the ID bus, because it also has this heritage with the two color scheme, it also looks kind of cool. Or what do you think? Power-wise, 340 horsepower, 6.5 seconds in the acceleration figure. And usually you only have rear-wheel drive, so one electric motor at the rear axle. Here now in the GTX or the all-wheel drive version for the Northern American market, you also get another front electric motor giving you then that overall boost. But the rear electric motor is always the stronger one. Towards the rear, we can see the light signature already begins here at the side and goes then all the way through. This is once again this optional IQ light. It's a little bit more elaborate and you also have, you know, cooler turning indicators actually. Very clean design and rear. You have the GTX badge here in Europe and the really large white retro logo. Top speed, 160 kilometers an hour or 100 miles per hour. Batteries, the short wheelbase version, 79 kilowatt hours net, has now two kilowatt hours more with this update. This will then also count not only for GTX or all-wheel drive models, but for all the models. And then the bigger one, the long wheelbase version, gets also the bigger battery, 86 kilowatt hours net. In Europe, you can pick between short wheelbase, long wheelbase, North American market, only the long wheelbase with the bigger battery and supposed range is always something around 400 kilometers or 250 miles especially if you have the long wheelbase version with the longer battery it depends on the driving scenario but that's you know our approximate realistic value recharging 185 kilowatt peak for the small battery 200 kilowatt peak for the big battery and that means 25 minutes 10 to 80 percent state of charge in both cases Turning indicators in the front here, replace the lower part of the daytime running light. It has also been reworked. Pretty cool design. IQ light, by the way, this means it's the Matrix LED. It's their brand name for it. And usually an option here for the GTX version, it's standard. This is the key fob and you see special buttons here for the ID bus. You can get it with two sliding doors and just one press of the button. And here on the other side, this is a very cool thing to do, right? And then you can open both sliding doors. Zoom more to that compartment. First of all in the front, door closing sound. Actually, interesting. Does it make a difference when the doors are closed? Let's try that out. Because it didn't sound too good, but there might be a way better sound now when the door is closed. Yeah, indeed. That's the reason. Interesting, right? Because then you have also here the, you know, like the panel gap and with the insulation and so on. So this is a good door closing sound now. Inside of the doors, this is all hard pack here. It's softer for your elbow and a lot of storage at the inside of the doors. And then you have a special GDX interior with red contrast stitches here, GTX steering wheel, hashtag capacitive BS buttons on the steering wheel. Here we have um, this you know artificial wood trim. It looks actually quite cool and it feels also quite nice. Why not? 
And then here, these are the microfiber seats. US versions, like North American market, usually get leatherette seats then. This is the high trim seat here in the GTX version and all the way red contrast stitches. The cool thing is that you have this upright seating position. Oh, have you seen, by the way, it's also um, characteristic for the ID models here, like play and pause for the pedals there in the lower part. So here, very upright. Du, 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 du. It's always when you uh, leave or like, is it? Yeah, the seat sensor. <laughs> this is going to be a meme for sure. <laughs> I could do this all day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> back to the review. 189 is 602. There we go, enough headroom. And here, exclusively for the long way base version, we have this panoramic roof and it is the largest one that Volkswagen has ever built. It also has this electrochrome function, transparent, closed. There we go. And yeah, Michelle is opening the side door. They can better see that. Look at that. So of course, I mean, at that size, it looks even more impressive doesn't it yeah pretty cool steering wheel up and down in and out you can see that the instruments are connected to that they're pretty small but i think it's fine and you also have the optional head-up display very spacious interior cockpit look at that here's more of that wooden style trim and also the nice sound right asmr style asmr style so <laughs> Here, a lot of space. Also, the glove box is properly dampened when it folds down. That's nice and smooth. Then, here in the lower part, you have two more hotkeys to open the doors in the side. And here, oh, this one also folds down smoothly. There we go. Plop, and it's in the right position. Also adaptive. I think that's a, that's a cool thing. Otherwise, you leave it like this and have more space than underneath, but shouldn't be putting something here because it could fall to the pedals and so on. Then news that also is counting for all the ID bus models because now the screen is larger, moving from 12 to 12.9 inch, so let's say 13 inch. And here there's also these temperature sliders. And yeah, physical is always better, but it's better to have these sliders than only be able to control it right in here. This is the new main menu, this new software version, also a little bit quicker than before. And what's really important is then you have these charging uh, you know, possibilities here for this maximum state of charge. And here, even more important, optimizing start battery heating. You can do that manually now or when you put in a charging station, but it's really good that you can put it in here and then maybe just your, use your Apple CarPlay or uh, Android Auto uh, GPS and so on. And you always have it also here in the top part as a hotkey. Seat heating can be controlled right here. Armrests here, by the way, for the seats, they're also adjustable in height. And here, this middle part in between, you can have here, this splitter is also an ice scraper at the same time. And the second middle splitter here, Oh, there we go, surprise, is actually opener here for caps. So, um, yeah, why not? It's a very interesting idea for sure. And this whole thing here, yeah, it's always a little bit tricky to put them back in place here. This whole thing you can also take out. You cannot slide it. You can just take it out or put it in place. In here, this front box in the front, there's like a trash bin. And in the back part, you can slide out this one here and you can also change the position or also for other accessory things here you could also theoretically put that one here there we go here in this middle position hello or should i say hello there <laughs> so this is actually electric here i can control it from the inside i can also show you where so here we go to open and close the door, by the way, I can pull this top handle here, but I can also control this small button right here. So that's also a, a nice solution. And the window lever control, I can show that to you on the other side, is here, in there. There we go. They can press it, it's also automatic. There we go, back. 
and force for that. Oh, there's even seat heating here in the rear, right there to be activated. Second seating row is also very comfortable. You can also adjust here the back part of the seat a little bit, even more like with this lever, more like, uh, you know, lying back position. Also a lot of leg room to the front, definitely. Then you have this table, but yeah, this is quality-wise maybe not my favorite. What's cool is when you fold these here, when you want to fold these flat, then you can see that here, this lower part also goes down a little bit. And there we go. So, and then this also gives us here a really flat area. So like this, you can also, you know, like secure it in place like that. You can also have these armrests here. They're also adjustable in height. And you can slide these ones here. This is like most forward position here or then in the most backward. And the seating setups are possible like this. So short wheelbase and long wheelbase are possible to have either two, three, so two in the front, and then you have a through bench here. Or what's also possible is that you have two, 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 exactly like this, so six seater. Only the long wheelbase version exclusively is also available as a seven seater, and that is then two, three with the bench, two. Then here, the third seating row. Let me test that one. Also, with a nice microfiber surface here. And well, the seats themselves, they are a little bit stiffer. Head restraints are pushed up like this, but still very decently comfortable. Also, headroom is no problem here with 189 or six for two. You also have your own USB-C chargers here, for example. And even these here can be slid forward or backward. And I mean, this goes really far, right? So here at the moment, this is the setup then, all the seats maximum forward. This is how I could closely still sit. And this as well, and this is no problem at all. And then I have actually a little bit more trunk length. But what actually, if I put this one all the way back like this, can I still sit there as a tall adult? In the back position? Definitely. Easily possible. I could even move that one still a little bit forward. So this is definitely at least six, or when you have the bench then here for the longer base version, seven adult proof. And yeah, at this length here, I think we have seen nothing that could be coming into comparison because this is such a short hood there in the front. This is optimum use of, use of our space. And there, for example, I think what you can see here from the space, electric plus van totally makes sense as for the space on the interior. You know, in Volkswagen, you can flip the logo to open the trunk. Oh, wait a minute, it's not possible here. <laughs> Just kidding, I, probably, I think that would probably be too large to make this one, you know, a flipping logo. You know, usually like the normal size logo, you can flip it and then there's the rear view camera also hidden underneath. Yeah, but in this case, they probably said like, yeah, the big logo is just too important for us. <laughs> then here, electric hatch, you can of course get. And there we go. And first of all, it's very interesting here, the towing capacity. This is the only thing where the short wheel base is actually better. 1.8 tons here for the all-wheel drive version, 1.6 tons it is for the long wheel base version due to the weight. And then this is here, this special board. First of all, this is a very tiny detail. You can use this trunk splitter to, you know, like that not things are flying around. Of course, you, know, you don't have to use that. Then this board you can fold up and have some storage underneath, for example. That's actually quite interesting. And well, the main reason for that is here, this is the third seating row of the long way base. If we fold down the seats, we can do it like this this then here it ensures an even loading area and also look at that when we fold the second seating row seat so here it's this two 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 setup and then we have the even loading area and this is then to the front seat this is like two meters this is like uh, wow i mean two meters 40 it is actually and that is 93 inches which seats can you put out? Second seating row, no matter if the single seat or you have the through bench, no es posible. But here, this back part here, let's build a little bit, you know? <laughs> so I know that's really exciting. So first of all, this, you know, rear bench here, so to speak. Of course, not a bench you can sit on. 
These are basically screws, but you don't need a screwdriver, but you can screw them out like this. There we go, then we can take this one out. And then we have the seats, we folded them already. Then we have this strap here available and we can actually put them out completely. So that's a good thing. Are they heavy? Yeah, quite. Car seats are always heavy, of course, also for safety reasons. So yeah, be aware that you don't damage your lower uh, back, like your lumbar area. But you can pull them a little bit because, you know, they, they slide a little bit like this and then we can make space here in the rear although the second seating row then is up so this is another flexible thing where you can use this vehicle for well the hood is ultra short so i think we can excuse in this case that there is no frunk yeah you can just open that way here in the front for the wiper fluid for example so yeah but it kind of looks cute right doesn't it one of the big advantages, of course, here of this all-wheel drive version is that the towing capacity is increased for the long wheelbase version by 600 kilograms, comparing to the rear-wheel drive version, and for the short wheelbase version, even 800 kilograms plus, comparing to the rear-wheel drive only version. It does have something pretty unique, doesn't it? Just when it's standing there, you know, with the very clean, you know, fore and background here with the very small stones. Yeah, I really like it. Although I would have preferred real round headlamps also to be even more retro. What do you think? By the way, if you now ask yourself, hey, I live in North America and I don't see the GTX version in the configurator. Yeah, the reason for that is also, for example, for other models, GTX is not a sub-brand in the Northern American market. This is a market decision. In Europe they said, hey, we want this sporty sub-brand and call the all-wheel drive models GTX. In the Northern American market, they said, no, nah, we don't want that. It. It's just then the all-wheel drive version, but has then similar specs and somewhat similar styling and so on. If you want to enjoy more ID Bus content, we have a driving review of the short wheelbase version and also more color, trim and spec of the long wheelbase version.